Hey there, everyone. Welcome, and thanks so much for joining me. This is Heather Lloyd-Martin, and I'm CEO of SuccessWorks SEO Copywriting. Today, I want to talk about a tip that a lot of small business owners and even medium to large size business owners completely forget about, and that is having an email newsletter. And this came up when I was teaching the SEO copywriting certification training last week in Phoenix, and I was mentioning how newsletters can be really good for business. And people came back and said, well, why do I need to worry about this? Because we already have a blog. So why would I have a newsletter on top of a blog? And that's a really good question because a lot of people think, oh, I have a blog and people can subscribe through my RSS feed, so I'm good. I don't need to worry about taking that extra step. But the thing is, is that a lot of folks don't understand what that little RSS chiclet is or how RSS works. And so you miss a lot of opportunities by being able to keep in touch with folks on a daily or a weekly basis. So weekly or monthly, if you don't publish that often, newsletters provide quite a few benefits and they're definitely worth the time and effort. So some of the benefits are is first that they can drive traffic to your site and increase social shares. So for example, the SEO copywriting newsletter that I run comes out every Tuesday. And even if I couldn't tell the day of the weeks on analytics, I could certainly look at that spike and say, oh, it must be Tuesday because suddenly I had a lot of social shares and a lot of people visited the site. And the way I do that is, and you can certainly sign up for the newsletter yourself at seocopywriting.com is there's a little preview of what the blog post is about and then there's a link that takes folks to that post on the site so the article isn't printed in the newsletter just a little snippet to send them back to the site Newsletters are also a great way to connect with your readers. So one of the things I enjoy doing is writing a quick introduction that talks about maybe the theme of the newsletters or what's been going on. And this is a way, especially if you are the brand, that you can connect with your readers as well. They also can help build an incredibly loyal following. So you'll have the, this group of people that are really excited to read your newsletter every week. And they'll even email you if they don't get it and say, I didn't get your newsletter. Can you send it to me? Because I really look forward to reading it. So that's always fun. And finally, they help you sell more stuff. So if you're writing blog posts on a daily basis, chances are those blog posts are not promoting your products and services. You're writing very good, strong informational posts. But say you have a sale or there's something special going on that you want folks to know about. Within the body of the newsletter, you can always have a little call to action block. And it's a great way that you can let people know about your special sale that's going on. You can even set it up where your newsletter subscribers learn about the sale before everyone else. So you have that special velvet rope effect of they get these exclusive benefits just by signing up. So if you don't have a newsletter, I encourage you to get one going. Or if you do have a newsletter but you haven't done much with it in a while, you might want to think about kicking that back into shape and, and figuring out what you need to do in order to build a big, bigger subscriber list, and get more folks visiting your site. Because I guarantee once things start rocking and rolling, you're going to see some huge benefits. So thank you very much, everyone. If you need any help or have any questions, please let me know. You can visit my site at seocopywriting.com. Find me on Twitter at, at Heather Lloyd, or you can zip an email to me at heather at seocopywriting.com. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care and have a fantastic day.